Reduce, reuse and recycle is a phrase that started back in the 1970s when there was a demand for a closer attention to waste, air pollution and water quality. Now with recycling more prominent, yearly there's about 400 million tons of plastic produced globally, according to WeForm.org. I went to the landfill to see how Rapid City practices recycling. The Rapid City Solid Waste Division receives over a couple hundred tons of recycling to sort each week. And unlike most major cities, this landfill does things a little old school. Something that is unique to Rapid City is that we hand sort everything that comes in. So some of the bigger cities that have, um, you know, bigger infrastructure and material inside, they have machines that, you know, robots and all that kind of stuff that'll help them out. But we hand sort everything that comes through. Items that can be recycled include glass bottles, aluminum cans, steel cans, and cardboard. In Rapid City, to recycle items, you do not need to rinse them out or take the labels or lids off, but you do need to make sure the item is empty. Rules on recycling can also vary by location. To check if an item is recyclable, you can check the bottom of the object. There will be a triangle and a number. The Rapid City landfill accepts numbers one through seven. Besides preserving the planet for future generations, there are other benefits of recycling. The importance of recycling is that we are diverting material from going to the landfill. So landfills are really, really expensive to build and it takes a long time. So the longer we can keep them in use before they fill up, the better and the more money we save. Once the items have been sorted through, the last process is putting the items into a pellet form, which are then sold to companies across the nation.